In this video, we will talk about how to easily rotate head walls in your drainage file. So like in this example here, I have this head wall, I have a pipe, and then I have this head wall right here, which are flared in sections. And whenever you place those flared in sections or your head walls, and then you put in your pipe, the angle of the pipe may not be at the exact same angle as what your head wall is. So in here, we're gonna show you how to easily rotate those head walls to be at the same angle or skew of what that pipe is. So one way you can do it is to select the, the end section, and then in your dynamic rotation right here, if you grab on one of those arrows, this is where you can come in here and dynamically rotate it. And the easiest way to rotate it to where it's at the same angle of what that pipe is, is to simply just go down to the other side and snap to that midpoint. And once you do that, you'll see that it's rotated. And then I can do the same thing for this one. I'll select it, I'll grab that arrow, and then I'll go back up to my other side here and get to the midpoint of it and select it, and I drop it off. So that's one way you could rotate your end walls to be at the same angle or skew of what the pipe is. Now, if you know that that angle of that pipe is going to stay for the duration of the project, that's perfectly fine. But the only drawback with that is if I come in here and I take this node right here, and let's say I need to move it to a different location, you're going to notice that your head walls won't stay at the same angle of what that pipe is. So another way you can do it is there's an option underneath the roadway modeling tools to where you can modify the point for these flared end sections or your head walls and actually get it to the same angle of what that pipe is and always get it to where it's going to rotate with that pipe or that conduit. So to do that, I'm going to change my workflow to open roads modeling and then I'll go to the geometry tab and underneath the point option there's an option that says modify points. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now one thing I forgot to do before that is I need to come in here and select the flared in section or the head wall. So let me go ahead and do that first and then I'll go back up to my point tool and I will select the modify points. Now for your mode we're going to go ahead and leave it to no change. There are some other options underneath there but for what we're doing here with the drainage items we need to have it set to no change. Rotation mode, we're going to set it to relative to alignment because we're going to set it to the, for the alignment, we're going to rotate it to be with that pipe. So once you have those two options set, you should be able to look on your dynamic prompts and go ahead and just simply select those. So I will go ahead and left click to accept the no change. I will accept the relative to alignment. I will go ahead and select my reference element, which is going to be the pipe. I will go ahead and left click on the data point modify selected elements. Then we have to go ahead and give it a rotation. And for this example here, I'm going to go ahead and leave it set to north, zero, east. And you'll see it's going to go with that pipe. So I'll go ahead and left click to accept that. And now you'll see that that flared in section is rotated to the same angle of what that pipe is. So now I will go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. So let me go ahead and select F4 to clear that out. We'll go ahead and select the flared in section. Go back to my modify points. Left click to accept no change. Left click for the relative to alignment. Select my alignment. Select the data point. So I'll go ahead and left click to accept that. And then for my rotation, I'm going to go ahead and set it to south, zero, west. And I'll tab to lock that in. And once I have that, I will go ahead and left click to accept it. And now you'll see that it's rotated to the same angle of what that pipe is. So let me go ahead and hit, click on F4. And you'll notice now that if I come in here and I need to move that flared end section to a different location, you'll notice now that not only will the angle of the pipe change, you'll see that the rotation of the flared end section will go with that. So that's one good way to rotate those flared end sections for those pipes at a certain angle where it may need to change you know, down the road. 
and it's also tied to that pipe. 